the Golden State Warriors were great. And it's the greatest offensive team I've ever seen play basketball. When KD joined Stay, uh, Clay, Steph, uh, Iggy, uh, Steve Kerr, the coach, uh, Draymond Green, as the best offensive team. Best team I've ever seen is Michael Jordan's Bulls. Uh, second best team may be the Showtime Lakers. But offensively, it's the best team I've ever seen. It's insane. You could make an argument that the three best shooters in the world were on the same team. What? Now, I think there's people that look at it and we're like, oh, well, you know, they didn't do this and they didn't do that. I, I am kind of disappointed to hear Draymond Green and Kevin Durant talk about the ending in Golden State. And, and if you haven't heard this, I'm going to play it for you. It's about 50 seconds. You know, they got in an argument. Uh, they tried to work it out. And, and here's how they view it. It wasn't the argument. It was the, the way that everybody, Steve Kerr, act like it didn't happen. Bob Myers and tried to just discipline you and think that that would put the mask over everything. I really felt like that was such a big situation for us as a group. The first time we went through something like that, we had to get that all out. We met the next morning and they said, all right, you slept on it. You ready to apologize? And I told them right then and there, I said, y'all about to this up. I said, the only person that can make this right is me and Kay. And there's nothing that y'all can do, and y'all are going to f*** this up. And in my opinion, they f it up. I think so, too. And they told me right then and there, like, we're going to suspend you for this game. I laughed in their face, literally laughed in their face. Nobody effed it up. It was over. And you know who you should blame? Kevin Durant's Achilles heel. Folks, they won back-to-back -back titles. They were so good. We had to make up a team that could beat them. We went back 20 years to Jordan's Bulls because nobody could compete with them. They won back-to-back -back titles. They set a, a, a record for the greatest regular season team in five-year stretch, even before KD got there. Five-year stretch. They won three titles. If not for Kevin Durant's Achilles heel, they win four. If not for that Achilles and LeBron's block, they win five. We had to make up teams that we thought could beat them. And the only one we came around on is Michael Jordan's Bulls. They won back-to-back -back with KD, Clay, and Steph. They were heavily favored over Toronto. And literally, we all were there. The Warriors fell apart. Clay was hurt. Steph was hurt. Iggy got hurt. And Kevin Durant got hurt. And they were still kind of competitive. Nobody thinks the Miami Heat, four years, two titles, is a failure. Show Kobe Shaq. Three titles, breaks up. It's not a failure. Michael Jordan, both times. Three Pete, both times. The pressure was so much, he retired twice. Like in the modern NBA, with the shoe deals and how big stars get. You got to remember, the NBA back in the 70s, the finals were on tape delay after the 11 o'clock news. The league was dead. David Stern came in and marketed it, put the... The name on the back of the jersey became as big as the name on the front of the jersey. And since then, players have gotten rich and become global icons and become stars. And I am here for all of it. I think it's fantastic. It's empowered young people. But after three titles, this is not like the Russell Celtics where you could win 11 and just go... You can't. It's too much pressure. There's salary caps. There's too many egos. There's shoe deals, competing agents. The Warriors were done. Folks, the last year KD was there, Quinn Cook was giving you minutes off the bench. They rolled the dice on Boogie Cousins. They had no bench. Iggy couldn't stay healthy. Just think about since KD left. KD's been hurt multiple times since then. So was Steph and so was Clay. Veteran teams, if you look at the history of dynasties, they're in their prime and then they get old. That's the way it works. Nobody young, there are no young dynasties. Jordan came into the league young, couldn't win for six, seven years. Detroit couldn't win initially. Bird couldn't win. Magic is the only guy because he inherited Kareem. And even he would go to the finals and lose. Tragic Johnson, come back and win. Then he would lose. This stuff is hard. 
and it explodes. A lot of self-blaming on this stuff. It was a wild success. For five years, they won three titles, and if not for the Achilles heel of Kevin Durant, certainly nobody's fault. They win four. It is, it's magnificent. And, and they dominated the West. I mean, it's just, you see how hard it is for Milwaukee. You see how hard it is for Miami. It's, this is hard for great players. I, I, I look at this stuff. They literally set offensive records. They changed the game. People started copying the Warriors. And they didn't even have the personnel to copy them. You'd see teams without elite shooters shooting 33s a game, and you're like, you don't have any guys that can shoot a three. This, this, is, this is nobody's fault. we we got to get past that. It, it was going to end. Salary cap, the bench was thin, Iggy was old, Quinn Cook was playing, rolled the die. These guys have all physically fallen apart. Since that. That, 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 this dynasty wasn't going anywhere. This was the last year of it, and they would have won, and they were favored to win, and the Achilles heels goes. Appreciate it. Michael Jordan, twice after the third straight, had to shut it down for a variety of reasons. You can pick your reasons. Just shut it down. The fact that for five years, we got the greatest offensive team in the history of basketball, win for everybody. One Achilles heel, it would have been In the argument for the greatest three-year team in the history of the league, it was bound to end.